your inspiring words. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Rajiv Behel, Secretary to Government of India, Department of Health Research and Director General, Indian Council of Medical Research to address the gathering. Thank you very much, um, and uh, esteemed colleagues on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the Honorable Health and Family Welfare Minister, and on my behalf, I really congratulate this collaborative effort uh, of uh, NCSM and the, uh, the British uh, Council and the British Museum, National Museums, to, uh, to have this uh, excellent exhibition, which to me, really, as was said by several people, uh, symbolizes the triumph of humanity uh, over a, a real, this virus, which you said was very small, but at one point in time seemed unsurmountable, seemed that it will, we will never have this gathering again, ever together, maybe in five years, maybe not even 10 years, and here we are about two years, two and a half years down the line. And partly and heavily, I would say, uh, this is the triumph of the vaccines and the way we have developed the vaccine in record time uh, as a global community. And not only done that, but I'll just give you an example from India where not only have we developed indigenous vaccines, we have manufactured vaccines which were collaborative uh, with other countries, particularly the UK, uh, and also not just developed, not just manufactured the vaccines, not just gave them to about 242 countries, uh, 100 countries, 242 million doses of vaccines in the spirit of what we call uh, Vasudeva Kudumbakam, which basically means the entire world is our family. Uh, but also, the fact that 93% of India has been vaccinated with uh, two doses of the vaccine, probably this is the greatest achievement, I would say, uh, that we have been able to do. There has been so much vaccine hesitancy in so many different parts of the world uh, but to get a country like India with 1.4 billion people, 93% people uh, having two doses of the vaccine is, is a kind of, uh, I would say a miracle, which to tell you the truth, even I did not believe when we started that we would finish in nine months. Uh, I thought it would take at least double that time, but it is something that uh, really puts us uh, all these issues, this is a symbol of where India has started and come to in these 75 years since independence. And that's where the confidence that the Prime Minister says in, in 25 years we will be a developed country. Uh, I am almost 100% confident that this, with this type of show, this type of achievement that we had during COVID, we can uh, take uh, this very easily to 2047. The, uh, that India is uh, not just, this doesn't come, this didn't start with just uh, COVID. <coughs> India has been the hub of vaccine manufacturing uh, for several decades now, so much so that about 60% of global vaccination uh, for vaccines for EPI programs uh, come from India. And uh, in that, uh, that, that whole capacity that we had uh, led us to, to the achievements that we made during COVID. This exhibition uh, is extremely important because just knowing the science uh, is not enough. Science has to reach the people. And for science to reach the people, uh, art and science, the mix of art and science is a beautiful way to get that done. And we, I hope there will be three different messages that all of you, uh, particularly the youngsters who will see this and the people uh, who will see this exhibition. One would be this whole understanding of uh, how when humanity, mankind, 
gets together, it can surmount any problem that we have. And how that story of vaccine development in record times in so many different countries uh, came to light, including India. The second is, there is unprecedented interest in research and development today uh, in almost all parts of the world, particularly in India. And I'm very, very enthusiastic about it, that the younger people will take up uh, research and development as their, uh, as their goal, as something that will lead us to be that developed country that the Honorable Prime Minister wants us to be. So much so that we have added, the PM has added uh, Jai Anusandhan, which means essentially um, research and innovation to Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan. So this should be the decades of research and innovation in India. And this is something I think that the, the exhibition should also uh, help in, uh, in, in transmitting to the people and to the younger generation. And lastly, I think it is also all the myths around vaccination, some of the issues around vaccination uh, that people uh, have misunderstandings uh, around it. I think it, this will really help the masses in moving towards, uh, towards uh, uh, you know, accepting vaccination as something which is truly uh, a, a, an innovation and it, an intervention uh, that has helped us to defeat so many infectious diseases. So thank you very much and uh, all the best for the exhibition. Thank you.